Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome to this Vlog Friday. Let's call it a Vlog Friday. We're having a warranty repair unboxing right now. Kind of a warranty report. I like giving these reports on warranty repairs or replacements uh, when I have the opportunity to do so because it helps to inform you guys, my friends and customers, who uh, would potentially buy some of this stuff. It helps to inform you as to you know how well a company stands behind their products. That's a really, really important thing in my mind. I hope it's important to you too. So uh, what we have here, I believe, is the Nikon Pro Staff that I sent in for warranty repair. A while back, as you might remember, I did a side-to-side -side comparison on the Nikon Pro Staff a 3 to 9 by 40 and the Vortex Crossfire 2 3 to 9 by 40 scopes. And in that comparison, I pointed out the fact that the Nikon actually had an O-ring that was coming out of place. It was... Uh, I couldn't explain why it had happened or how or when it happened, but I saw that it had happened. And so I said, you know, I'll send this in for warranty repair, get back to you guys on how it went. So here it is, we're getting back to it. We're gonna open this thing up, see what's inside and you know, see whether they got me a brand new optic here or if they repaired the one that I have. How will I know if it's a repaired one? Uh, I might see some marks on it showing evidence of having been mounted. Maybe that's how I'll know that it's mine, I don't know. But uh, we'll go ahead and open this up using the Microtech. There's the Microtech right there. Cool knife, man. I'm really digging this. This is the Tri-Grip version of their, oh man, what the heck is it called? Ultratech, that's right. Tri-Grip Ultratech. Let's go ahead and open it up. And a little bit on this side, and a little bit more on the top. And let's see what we've got here. We might have some information with addresses on them, so we'll go ahead and pull this out and just read it off camera. It says, service repair, rank two, write up repair, replaced product, Pro Staff 3 to 9 by 40 matte NP, uh, and accessories, rear lens cap, front lens cap box. So it says replaced product. So we'll see what that means. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and fold some of the private information here and send, let you see uh, the rest of it. There you can see. I think you can see, sorry about the shadow. It says replaced, replaced product right there. So we'll see if that's in fact true, if they replaced or if this is my repaired one. There's all the bubble wrap looking good and the Nikon Pro Staff. There it is, like I thought it would be. And it is sealed, taped and sealed, as if it's brand new. So let's open that up and see if we see any marks, any signs of this being a uh, my formerly used uh, Pro Staff or not. You would think that this Microtech would have an easier time with this tape. <laughs> there we go. And one more. All right. And getting this sucker opened up. The box looks brand new. Not that I would know, but there's all the um, information that usually comes brand new. Uh, that looks newer than uh, what I had. And there is the optic itself with the caps on it. I'll go ahead and pull this out and see if we see any signs of use just for the heck of it. And I don't know about you, but I don't really see any marks on there, any signs that this had been mounted. No, it looks perfectly clean. So it says replace product. I'm guessing they replaced the product. That is what it looks like right here. I did not write down the serial number of the previous one, so I can't really confirm 100%. But the last thing, of course, we need to check is to make sure that that O-ring is fixed and I do not see any signs of an out of place O-ring here. So that is the A number one thing that we needed fixed and it looks like it is fixed. That's fantastic. Very, very good. And it's got the same reticle that it had before, so they gave me the right one. That's good to know as well. Um, everything else about it looks right. Three to nine, just like it said. And we'll see where the turrets are at, just for the heck of it. Turrets are at zero, at least on top. That one's at zero. And we'll look at the side. I don't know why this even matters. The side is at zero as well. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, guys. So a little bit of a warranty repair report there. Looks like Nikon is worth their salt 
when it comes to warranty repair. And that is a definitely, definitely a good thing. Um, you know, I talked before during that comparison about how I felt like Nikon for just quality of, you know, of the, not the reticle, but of clarity, the clarity of that scope of any Nikon I've looked through thus far just seems to surpass everything else I've seen. I don't know why. Um, they just know what they're doing and they seem to do it better than other people. But uh, that is a huge selling point, obviously, the clarity, but the durability of it is also very important. And more importantly, from my perspective, as somebody who simply uses this stuff, and mainly for you know sporting purposes and testing purposes, I want a warranty that stands behind the product. And so far, it looks like Nikon has definitely done that. So, thumbs up to Nikon for their warranty repair and replacement. I'm really happy to see that. Anything else I should say about this? What was the process like? How hard was it to send this in and uh, get that all done? I would say, you know, to me, the standard of measure still, and I've said this in regards to other things, the standard of measure for warranty, repair, and replacement has always been Leatherman. They just, they knock it out of the park with everything since I have it. There's Leatherman Squirt PS4. It has nothing to do with the Nikon, but there it is. Uh, they just knock it out of the park. You know, their 25-year warranty, basically a no questions asked, pretty much, warranty. They stand behind everything for 25 years. And uh, in my experience, they've turned around things that I've sent in within like a week. Literally, like I, I mail it, it gets up to Oregon. Since I'm in Utah, it gets there pretty quickly. They, pit, they open it up, they put a new one in the box and send it back same day, I guess, because they, I literally get it back like in a week. That's insane. Like that is crazy good warranty repair and replacement. But, you know, anybody else who does a job, does a good job that's not necessarily as fast, but um, is thorough and doesn't give you a hard time or doesn't harass you and, you know, kind of make you provide a lot of unnecessary information or whatever, anybody that can do that at least, I give them a thumbs up. I give Ni Nikon a thumbs up today. But, uh, you know, obviously, I talk about Leatherman. <laughs> Those guys are like beyond thumbs up, okay? they just uh, stellar. But, uh, yeah, so Nikon at least, at the very least, and probably much more so, um, are very good for warranty, repair, and replacement. And I look forward to mounting this on something. You'll see it on something else soon. I already know what I'm going to put it on. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, there's a gun that I've been intending to review for a while now that I've shot, that I'm going to shoot some more, and that I've actually got another accessory here for that uh, I'm going to come back to this table in a little while and install. I'm not going to show you that. But... It's happening, and this is going to go on it, and I'm so excited about that. So thumbs up to Nikon for warranty repair and replacement. I'm the late Boy Scout. This has been Vlog Friday edition video. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.